Hello everyone! Welcome to a fountain pen video with me. I'm Aziza, aka Gourmet Pens, and I'm very fidgety because I've had a lot of caffeine and lots of sugar. Um, today's video is of an unusual pen, and it's very unusual because it has a very interesting design that I think is going to appeal to some people and some people are not going to like it. But that's sort of their specialty. So this pen is from Bennu Pen and they are in Moscow, they're Russia based. Let me tell you a bit about the pen. Um, we've got, well, first of all, one thing I love about Bennu is their very simple packaging. It's just a cardboard box, very small, recyclable, and there's nothing in here that you cannot recycle. So there's shredded paper as a base and your pen comes in this little sleeve and that's really fantastic because it's very tidy. You get this card or sheet, conceptual handmade writing instruments that play with creative shapes and an extensive palette of vivid colors. Handcrafted after our own original, de original design in the company's Moscow-based facilities, all Banu pens have a unique character and an instantly recognizable look. We took great care to create a highly ergonomic ergonomic shape that will fit a hand perfectly, making our pens not only the stylish accessory, but a real pleasure to use. Two-year warranty from date of purchase, and um, they have product care, they tell you how to use it, like how to clean the nib, stuff like that. Um, actually very useful if you're a new user, and useful even if you're not, because there's info in there that you might need. Now the pen is one of their new pens, it is called the Tattoo. You can see why. It looks like a tattoo. Now they say, uh, they were inspired by uh, many aspects of body inking contributed to our inspiration for this collection. It's long history, cultural reach, symbolism, intimacy, and aesthetic versatility spurred on the creation of these products. Tattoos have been used as an act of expression for the last 5,000 years. Throughout the centuries, ink markings have undergone drastic changes from their uses as a spiritual or protective amulet to symbols of rebellion and the subver subversion of societal norms. Finally, in today's world, they are now hailed as a mainstream form of modern creativity and individualism. So there's a whole bunch of information here uh, describing like the, de like the individual designs like the elements of each tattoo. So they have the um, Sailor Jerry of the United States Navy, whose work at ethic and artistic skills during the 1900s remain unmatched. So you've got, uh, this is the gray. So you've got on here, there are guns, roses, stars, dice, um, a sunburst, um, skull, snake, and flames. Uh, old school tattoos typically include eagles, daggers, swallows, hearts, banners, and more, and they are distinctly characterized by thick black outlines and black, sorry, bright solid colors used sparingly. There are six colors available in this collection. I picked this one because I thought the contrast was nice. And um, you will see 11 flash elements embodied in its design, as I said. I think I said most of them. Wind, rose, compass, gun, sun, nautical star, snake, skull, swallow, rose, dice, ribbon, banner with Bennu logo, and fire and flame. And I think that's all you really need to know about that. The pen is not inexpensive. This is a pretty pricey pen. It's 190 US dollars, and um, it comes with a number six Schmidt steel nib, not rebranded, which I have complained about in the past, and I'm going to do again because at $198, I think it should be rebranded. But it's fine, medium, broad, and like every other Bennu pen I've ever used, it is superbly tuned. It is an exquisite writer. So I'm happy about that at the least. I would rather they don't rebrand it and make it a killer writer, which they're doing, than they do rebrand it but lose attention to the um, quality control of the nibs. It takes standard international short and long cartridge. You can also use converter or eyedropper it. You can add extra nibs for $20 and the trim is steel. Other details, the body material is acrylic resin. The decor is handmade with coloring patina that is hand painted, uh, stainless steel clips. Length is 5.6 inches. So it's not, it's actually a decent size. Like it is a full size pen. Um, Weight is 27 grams or so. The cap is screw on and it can be posted. So let's just, I'm just gonna move my computer. Those are the details of the pen. Let's look at some of the like intimate details of the pen. There is a swallow on the cap as the finial. The clip is very close to the pen. Like it's a very 
flush a slim profile in that regard it works perfectly fine there is a spot for the clip to land so it's not going to damage the finish um yeah so it's like it's a love it or hate it pen i think and they know that like they're aware that some of their designs are like for everybody and some of them are not and that's okay I like that they are making these options available to us. They are trying out new things and I appreciate that because like not all of us want the same pen. So smooth mechanism and very comfortable. I can use this unposted without issue. It is designed to be posted, snug, secure. I find it top heavy and unbalanced, but you know, that's just me. You don't have to use it posted. If you want to, you can, if you have larger hands very comfortable and everything is smooth like the threads work really well it's i i don't have any complaints in terms of the build quality and finishing it's really good the nib is exquisite like i am excited to show you the writing sample but really there are two deal breakers one the, it's expensive right and i know it's like hand painted and stuff there's a lot of work that goes into it but um it's sort of a treat right and uh, the other thing is like you, again, the design is not for everyone. I like the artwork on it, but I'm not sure I would like look for a pen like this, but I can say it looks really good. Like they've done a good job with it. So there you go. That is the Bennu tattoo pen in the gray silver. Let's see how it writes because it's a really nice writer. So thank you to Bennu for sending me this pen for a review. And I hope you guys will find this helpful. Let's check it out. Bye. Hello everyone! Let's get going with the Bennu Tattoo Pen because there's a lot of stuff going on here and I just want to show you the details. So this is actually one of their larger pens. Most of their pens are on the smaller side, use, use the smaller size Schmidt nibs. Um, here it is with an Opus 88, um, Waterman Karen, the Esterbrook SD the smaller size, um, a Pelican M400. So you can see it's actually a fairly large pen and the only really small part is the back of the barrel where it tapers for the um, posting of the cap. But other than that, it's a, it's, a pretty, it's a pretty big pen. Not a lot of trim other than the clip and this band right here, but there's a lot of detail on the pen. So the finial has that swallow. I'm just gonna rotate it so you can see the design tattoo elements. So there's the, uh, I think they called it a, a sunburst, nautical sunburst, no. There's a nautical compass on here somewhere. Um, there's the shotguns, there's the roses and thorns. Oh, there's the nautical compass. Um, you got stars, there's the Bennu logo on the banner. You got your snake and, or snakes, I guess. You got skulls, flames. So there's a whole lot of tattoo elements on here. And this is hand painted. So this is the gray one. And as I said, there's other colors. I like this one, but um, there's also a black if you want the design, but want it a little more subtle. But there we go. In terms of the size of the pen, as I said, it's a pretty large pen. Um, very smooth. It's very comfortable. I like the large nib. Here's how it posts. So it posts by friction. It's very snug, but when it's like this, it's way too long and it's top heavy for me. So for me, this does not work. There we go. Um, comes with cartridges and a converter. Converter is unbranded, just like the nib is not rebranded. So there's the nib. But as I said in the talk portion, um, the nibs always perform really well, so I prefer that they focus on ensuring that, maintaining that consistency with the nib performance rather than rebranding the nib and co compromising the quality of it. So let's do a bit of writing. It is super smooth, quite wet, very lovely broad nib. The pen itself is really comfortable to write with. Honestly, it's an exquisite steel broad. Quite wet, as I said. Um, the ink is... Chia Bay Bleu Calanque. 
um, free weight sales through that uh, you can use it for reverse writing it's actually pretty decent in terms of ignore that skip I was using it on reverse so it's just not representative um, it's a hard nib but with a bit of pressure you can get a wetter line not necessarily much broader but definitely wetter but I mean look how well that keeps up that's incredible it's it's just really <laughs> it's really juicy can you see it I'm applying pressure on the downstrokes here but it's just a really nice rider I'm I really like the nib and it's super suitable for modifications as a result of this wetness and the, the broadness of it uh what am I gonna say yeah so this was sent by the new pen as I said it's a bit pricey um I understand that it's hand painted and I like a lot of the design elements and stuff like that I appreciate that they write really well I love the simplicity of the packaging but it's definitely pricey it's a fun pen though and I love that they are producing pens that some people love some people will hate they're just coming out with a lot of unique stuff so uh super wet as i said really nice it's great for daily use for like really nice for because just really comfortable i i find it just it feels really good in hand not slippery so it's just really fantastic i'm very pleased with it my experience with the new pens has been very positive i've never really had any that don't work that aren't um, tuned well so they're doing something right there so if i'm i'm just writing with a really light hand with a really light hand and i'm moving fast i'm getting a few skips but if i'm writing just normally it's it's fine so this is like really light this is like um, free weight type light so i'm happy it definitely makes me happy so I hope you found this useful. If you did, I would love it if you would like and subscribe. You could find me on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Patreon, and something else, Instagram, as Gourmet Pens, and also as Toronto Pen Company for all your nib modification needs, workshops, and lettering and calligraphy supplies. So, oh, sorry, I went off screen there. Um, that's okay. You'll manage. You know I just finished Toronto Pen Company and wrote a heart. Thank you, guys. We will see you for the next video. Take care. And...